things today I want to harvest a strawberry um, raspberry leaves mint cho um, chocolate mint and chive blossoms and make a violet oil <laughs> let's see how far I can get all this list how I can get it done This is my very sad looking sourdough starter that's been neglected for many days on the counter. And I'm just removing the, what's called the hooch, the black grayish liquid on top. And then I'm just gonna discard to keep half <clears throat> of the sourdough starter. And then I'm gonna feed it uh, equal parts sourdough starter, water, and the flour. It's rhubarb season and I decided to do a full day of canning of rhubarb. Uh, now I am canning jelly, but I will also make jam, a pie filling, and mead for now. Time to get back into kefir, water kefir, which is a fermented fruit beverage for our gut, gut health. And I'm thinking with summer going on, like to try some fun recipes. And now I will be doing a, um, putting into bottles, lemon and mint. And I will also have tomorrow to bottle up this one, which is a um, fruit version with some chocolate mint i will strain it and bottle it tomorrow so that will give us like some fun fizzy drinks for those hot days to come and i still have two or three versions i want to try like one with rhubarb since it's rhubarb season and one i have to get myself some lime juice to like do like a mojito style kefir with uh, the fresh mint i have in the garden
I leave a lot of headspace because I don't want it to uh, explode. Because this is fermented. Counter right now, I have my very sad sourdough starter. Um, I neglected it. I have to uh, revive it. So I have one here. This is my second batch of water kefir next to some, this is not fermenting, but it's um, uh, microgreens, sprouting seeds. And then I'm gonna put my uh, kefir here. I try to have my fermenting stuff far. I saw that on a post, a blog post on another channel and I've been doing ever since. I know it <laughs> kind of looks weird, but this is what I do. Darren, this is for you. I made myself some mead right here. So I have a rhubarb mead and a fruit mead. It's really simple. I did not film the process because I wanna make sure that I'm doing it right. And if it tastes good, I will be making small batches of different types of meads so I can have that for either gifts or for myself. Uh, just to sip on uh, after a long day of work or just to enjoy. So Darren, you got me hooked on me. So if I succeed, <laughs> I have you to thanks. This year, I got myself a new book, which is Homegrown Tea by Cassie Liverside. It's a guide of planting, harvesting, and blending teas and tisanes. And I am adding a couple of new things this year to my uh, tea pantry, like raspberry leaves. And like from what I'm reading, it contains vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin E, calcium and potassium. It's antioxidant. It helps ease menstrual cramps, relieves cold and flu systems, so on and so forth. And it, it tells you how to harvest them, how to dehydrate them, and how to blend them in teas. So this book will be part of a <laughs> of my practically it's probably going to be on my counter every time I'm going to see something new in my garden and see if I can dehydrate it and add it to my tea collection so I'm really looking forward to this book and uh, creating new tea blends
what a day, what a day. Well, a day and a half. I wasn't able to do everything I wanted to do in one day, but at least I got a lot of stuff done. I started my tea pantry for my tea blends this fall, and then I canned a lot of rhubarb stuff. Um, and then I've done some infused oil, the violet oil, and then the uh, chive blossom oil. I still have to do one recipe with the chives blossom with white balsamic vinegar, but that's gonna come later on. It looks like that. Most of my days looks as busy as that, but at the same time, at the end of the day, I realize that my pantry's full. All my pantries are starting to get fuller and fuller. And I am able to enjoy the sun, play with dirt, watch the birds do their thing, listen to nature and relax. And I feel blessed to do all of this. I thank you for passing by the homestead today, sharing this day and a half with me, and I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.